Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he's he's fresh. That is Colony Wars. Yeah, so we are. Yeah. We're gonna have Colony Wars here. Um, but the real void is no slouch. At least online, I have actually played him in person. But both of them won their. Or, now we got updated. Yeah. See, I just gotta say things, and then the numbers are there. You know, <laughs> we're, just, we're, we're just gonna have fun with it. You guys the, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the yeah, <laughs> the the scoreboard's catching up to your uh, your info. Yes. So. Right. Um, from our angle here, we'll probably switch pretty soon here. But a uh, cargo pod. So we so both games that we started on stream have been cargo pod three scout first buys. Yeah, that, so, so that's a when there's start. a cargo pod in the opening board, you are so hoping not to see a viper right. if you're playing first. Right, like, that exactly. is uh, um, the ability to get a uh, a a three trade card playing first. So you get that massive purchasing ramp, and you got to play first. That's a that's a really big deal. Yes, it just and you can get rid of it. You yeah. can get rid of it later. That's yeah. so huge. Um, and as far as like plasma event, you know, whenever that hits the board, having yeah. the cargo pod, you're halfway there. So you're Nathan's halfway. Nathan's had some really nice draws here. Uh, mm. He uh, he got the three trade he needed in his first uh, hand, and then he has exactly four to, uh, um, uh, which is beautiful on this board. He had a lot of good choices. Yeah. All, although uh, we got uh, we got a. Um, a great uh, um, trade federation card coming up uh, mm -hmm. for Luke. Yes. Now he he likes bases a lot. So yep. as far as the play style, um, he does take the card that you were mentioning, the trade hauler, for a three trade there. So his that three trade will cancel out the cargo pod, can't scrap itself out. But it'll be interesting yeah. to and see. There are those there are those vipers. He had a wasted trade on his first turn, mm -hmm. um, and looks like a wasted trade on his second turn. So basically, the way his vipers came up, uh, just. Uh, um, uh, gave him a, a limited purchasing power. Right, and, and tough decision shuffle. to make. Do yeah. you want to get full value out of that, or is it better to just treat like the trade hauler as a three-cost card for this instance? Uh, which, I, which I think is a very reasonable play to make. Certainly. And we saw um, uh, Nathan just do the same thing. Uh, took the Ravager, which is an incredible yeah. card. Six damage, scrap two cards, trader or control. Um, two warning beacons out here. Two, yeah. two Bacon, as I like to call them. <laughs> we got some crispy bacon out here. Uh, those can go directly into play if you've played a Machine Colt card, although we haven't seen one yet. Yeah, so so th those, those are going to clog up the board for those a Those are going to sit there. I think uh, they're going to sit there. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they're going to hang out until somebody can see any kind of a battle so with bot that, or something. With six, uh, six trade, what purchase would you make here? Oh, my goodness. Now he's... You know, I think uh, Bioformer, yeah. uh, kind of, I think you got to take one of them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it gives, I, you, gives you combat the ability to, to scrap up to a bigger purchase. Right. Oh, another oh, cargo pod comes but up. But not enough to get it. Not enough. Two, he'll take the Explorer. Get that in there. So, so far, every card, for the most part, Nathan's taken, he can get rid of later. So he yeah. can pivot his deck in any direction he wants. Sure. Yeah. Every yeah. single card is, is, a, is a sacrificial card. Yeah, those, those scrap abilities on cards, that is a real, it's a big key to, uh, to Star Realms. Mm -hmm. um, you, if you learn how and when to use those scrap abilities, that can make your, uh, your play really go to Correct. the next level. Yes. So Frontier Fairy coming in, so that's going to be a four, four authority and three trade on a primary yeah. ability, and then you can use it to destroy a base. Yeah. yeah, nice. So that card's nice. It lets you ramp early, gives you health, and and in the in the late game, your opponent almost always has uh, a base you can uh, mm, scrap for right. it, and uh, so you can get uh, um, significant uh, combat swings in the later yeah. game um, and purchasing power in the early mm. game. So Luke has built a very slow deck. He has a lot of trade. Yeah. Frontier Station, you see Command Center yeah. is down there giving that two, and he has the trade hauler. Damage coming out, though, yeah. for Nathan. He has a, a, a scrappable, down, fast, high-reach, quick quick hit. Yeah. But if, if, the, if there was something really sexy on the board, he could... He can right. blow up those cards and grab it. Exactly. But, uh, but there's what's out yeah. there. Yeah. So does he does he fish? Does he oh. like take a warning beacon? Well, he's got oh, a lot of purchasing power. This is, lot. He's got everything. He's got combat and trade. I, mean, I don't and, does he does he just continue does he just cycle these to get more? He has a cargo pod and a bioformer out. There's a bioformer and a cargo pod on the row. Yeah. And he does. Although he, he's, he's gotta, gotta be a the... little bit afraid of something oh, too wow. good coming up for his opponent with his heavy he trade deck. He does he does flip a lancer. That's a great card. You guys saw that in the last game too. Scraps and, out the explorer. Yeah. So we got four, three, three on the faction for, uh, so that's seven plus three, and then the two, so 12, 38 to 46. Mm -hmm. And Bioformer's still out. Yeah. And he so takes more, another two command more, centers. More I told you he likes yeah. bases, man. Yeah, yeah, more bases. Now, now, this is interesting, though. Look, there's a cargo pod and a swarmer. Yeah. Why not cargo pod swarmer here? That's, that's really, that's an interesting play from Luke, though. Interesting that, uh, well, I guess he was going for more combat here. I was going to yeah. say interesting that he scraps the, uh, 
Mm, so he and he leaves. They're very aware of the warning beacons yes. out there. Uh, he he's not getting he's, rid of those. He's, he's leaving. He by, them. He's saying, "I want. I like this smaller row. I right. like less purchase Bingo. opportunities." Yes. And he and he's not liking that. I'm pretty sure. Sure, but because he's the aggressive one, he's yes. the one who has the damage. Yeah, he wants he wants to see he wants to see. Um, uh, he likes the direction his deck's going versus right. Luke's. He's way ahead on score right now. Uh, he wants to keep this going um, and and just push his opponent off the table. Right. So Orbital Platform comes out, a great utility card, a discard card, and then draw a card. You have Nano here crossing his fingers. He has a whiff draw. Uh, you can see it's all starters, um, so he's not going to be able to get rid of the Orbital Platform, but Luke needs to get rid of the Bioformer if he or, wants to keep that out. Or, yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, the Bioformer could uh, ramp up into that Lost Colony. Loyal, excuse uh, me, Loyal Colony. Yep, yeah, six. Not enough, enough for the loyal colony. Probably takes that other orbital platform, I imagine. Yep. Yep, but... And how much combat can he generate? Looks like three? Three! Not oh. getting there. Oh, this is going to be rough. he takes the silo. So he is going to get rid of the orbital platform. This is really unfortunate for for Luke. The only maybe so good he thing... Can, he, so he can... So he's going to get rid of the orbital platform. He can buy one of these sevens. The only yeah. question is which seven to get. Right. I think it's got to be the worm, right? You got to go with this. You have to go. Yep, there it is. You have to go moonworm because it's 28 to 43. He's 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 the one pushing damage. I don't know what damage Luke has to be totally honest. He has some, but I mean, Nathan's just cruising. Yeah. So that's the draw. What is the what is the draw for Luke here? Luke needs some goodness. He needs he needs both those command centers to come out right here. He needs is that? Do I see? I, I think I see, I see both. I see those, both? Oh, an orbital no, platform. Orbital platform. Okay. Maybe that'll get him to a command start. center. Oh my god! I think I, I, think, I, think, he drew it. I think he drew it. Wow, he does. So he, you he's, notice Luke is actually putting his cards not out in the middle. He's doing it just like the app. Just like just the, the app. digital yep. app. So he's trying to recreate <laughs> the digital app layout, putting those bases on the left side. And so he's got wow. he's got a nice wall of defense here. Yes. Eight points worth of outpost plus a four uh, four point regular base, which Nathan's really going to want to get rid of. That thing is yes. uh, that thing is annoying to have on the table. Yes. Um, and he's got four points of purchasing power on the table and another four points from his hand, so he can wow. buy that anything he Is he taking he the wants. Loyal Colony or is he taking Imperial he, Palace? Yeah, I think he goes with a palace here. The, I think the pal either. I, oh. They're both very, very good at this stage. Like the, the he needs the authority from the colony. That would be great. But he's got so much uh, yellow going on right. in the stack. Yeah. Um, and it's a, it's a cantrip. It's going to draw the card. It's yeah. going to force the opponent to discard a card. It's six outposts. And yeah. I don't think uh, Nathan has automatic base destruction. I don't think he has like a billion right. going to factor yeah. to get so rid of. This, this, how much damage Nathan has on this turn is critical. Right. He's, uh, if those bases stay out and you get to utilize their abilities again, that can be really devastating. So will will a base survive? And it looks, it like, looks a like, like a base will. The orbital platform is yeah. going to hang out. Yep. So he's going to get rid of those, and that's exactly what Luke needed. He needed something to soak up some damage. It's now it, it, that aging battleship has got to look really oh, attractive yes. to both players. Oh, First one to get that, and this he actually faxed off sword silo five oh. healing. Oh my! He gets, he gets trade holler, and he gets the two extra, so he has so this, the five. This heavy base strategy is starting starting to pay off. We'll see if it's soon enough. I said he loved bases, and look what he does with it. Like yeah. it comes in clutch right when he needs it. The damage from Nathan it was going to fizzle out eventually. Um, or it would have to. It would have to keep going. Luke would have to get a bad draw. He gets a good draw. Gets those bases out, and now he's and, got momentum. And yeah, now he's and, got momentum on those bases. And he's and he got that aging battleship. And he takes the other Wonderful silo. Why not? Silo. Why not? Yeah. You have one silo. Take another one. Why he's not? Gonna, he's sure. gonna he's gonna turtle up behind a wall of bases. He's gonna try Moonworm. Moonworm's gonna hit the deck though, and now he actually gets the faction. Oh, uh, so yes. so the Moonworm faction ability, you get to take a card that's cost two or less directly into your hand. So it's now he come. could now chain these warning beacons. This could be he, warning beacons he, shining he moment. This. <laughs> This could be what we've been waiting for this whole time, um, and he's he's rubbing his hands, wondering. Yeah, you know, um, you know there's there is uh, there is the reef there, which um, you know, but uh, I think. I think the bacon's I, the right play, though. I, I think going I, for warning beacons, you're right. Like getting both those out, double beacon it. Yeah, yeah. I think so. But the stellar reef could also, come in. It also would help help defend his uh, um, his bioformer too. Right. I mean, they're they're sure. small, but the two of them. That's four points of outpost defense. Well, and if and we're it's looking, not like Luke's uh, deck is throwing a lot of haymakers. Right. Basically. Exactly. Yes. He's Luke's just trying to get behind a base wall and survive. Um, stellar reef. Worth noting, it's going to be three. 
versus the four outpost essentially for having two bases sure. out. I think I think the bacon would be the right play here. He's probably processing both those things. He's going to huh? take the stellar reef. He's, he's going to put that he's in. Sticking green. He's, yeah. He's he's going to stay with those factions. He's going to try yeah. to keep that moonworm. Well, he's also ramping up to a fourth trade here, which. Um, mm. Right. And he does. He gets a battle bot pretty late in the game. Take the battle bot, but he took that probably for the warning beacons. He's probably going to sure. try to get that battle bot into hand. Doesn't really worry about the scrap, but he wants to sure. get those beacons uh, into play. Oh, whiff! Oh. That is a uh, that is a that is a early game hand there. That that's rough. And what's on the board? Do you take? You don't take mining mech here. You don't want like that's a that's one of the best early cards in the game. He does. He passes. Yeah, he just, just passes. Just he says, passes. "I don't want any Straight of that." Pass. I think that's the right play. It's just the yeah. unfo it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate yeah. for him. Oh, and the hits, oh. and the hits, the hits are coming out. No, if if Luke could choose, I think he would choose to get that whiff hand and to get his bases all together to hope that some it's of them true. survive extra turns. Yes. Uh, it's painful when those whiffs come up, but man, if you can, uh, when you have a heavy base strategy, you like them to clump so that yes. your opponent has a hard time mm -hmm. gnawing their way through that yep. uh, through that uh, wall of defense. And that's, that's actually a really good point. He does survive and all that damage just came out. He's shuffling but you gotta think the chances not a lot of scrap happening in the game, if any. Yep. So you got to think the chances that he has a lot of bases that might survive here. And let's and get it started. Go. Let's here get it go. going. Yeah, let's do this again. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, so they all, all, again, the whiff led to a, uh, a, a really good hand of heavy bases. Oof. And some and, healing. And he's got to be scrapping this thing to get rid of the bio Yeah, the, yeah that's, he'll get that's the, happening. He should. Yeah, for sure. And then he can take up both bases. We give the mm -hmm. ally ability uh, he's got going on uh, for his Star Empire. This is Luke might be able to bring this back here. Uh, and he takes Supply Depot. That's a great card to yeah. take right now. He's already in it. He's going to get the draw. Plus, since there's not a lot of scrap, you're going to have two cards to discard. Yeah. Um, Supply he's Depot. Yeah, go ahead. The primary ability of Supply Depot is you can discard up to two cards from your hand, and for each card you discard, you can choose to get either two damage or two trade for that ability. And so normally you want to have a lot of starters in your hand so you can get rid of those and basically increase their value. Um, and that's exactly what Luke has. He has sure. a lot of starters. He already has the bases. It's going to faction off for the draw. Ooh. So it looks like he did not scrap to get rid of the uh, get rid of the base. So uh, he actually, did he leave Bioformer? He did. He, he did. left the Bioformer out. Huh. Yeah. That is that is an interesting play. Yeah, I, I'm I'm very curious what his thought process was now, there. You know, I personally would have uh, I personally would have uh, gone for the scrap, but you know. Yeah. Um, uh, everybody's got different play styles. Correct, and that's one of the benefits of the game. Is, but this is this is the kind of situation where I'm saying this, and Luke's going to pull it out. Like he knows he he's a great player. He's sure. done this online all the time, where he feels like he's you feel like he's behind, and then he just it, it just happens. It just yeah. happens out of nowhere. Yeah, and that's the that's the key with those the scrap calculations. You have to decide: is this the time? Is this critical? Um, right. You know, because but when you scrap the card, you get that powerful effect, but you lose that card for good. Mm -hmm. um, so it's basically doing an anti-purchase. You're right. taking the card yes. out of your deck. Right. Uh, yes. Exactly. So you know, yes. he decided he wanted it for one more shuffle, and you know, we'll see if he made a, a wiser decision than we were predicting. Well, there's the Imperial Palace, and that's a good start. Um, we see some damage over there on the left side for Nathan, so we're going to have to see. Storage Silo comes out. It's a little help. A little help. Little help. Well, two, two authorities, yeah, two authorities. That's, that's not nothing. Um, but not on no... Oh. This is it. I almost wanted to say, like, oh, I'll take a beacon into hand, but alas, oh. no... Uh, wait, did... Oh, he, had, he didn't have any damage. Nothing. He didn't have any damage. This so, so that, so that, um, not getting rid of the bioformer is starting to, you know, yeah. starting to haunt because you get it, it's gotten a second attack right. uh, since that. So that's fourteen, but he's got to get through the six. Does he leave the storage silo up and do the eight, leaving Luke at six, or does he do the three as well and leave Luke at nine? Yeah, I think he's he's probably going to go with that, blow up that silo. I would, I would think he would, just because you know that he's going a ton of bases. If you get two, he's got a second storage silo. Yeah, if, okay, if, he, if that yeah. storage silo gets behind a wall, um, oh. he could he could build that yeah. uh, authority right back up again. Yep. So nine to thirty nine. It's a tall hill to climb. Um, I would love to see it be climbed. That'd be incredible. But I think Nathan. I, I'm just very surprised. Yeah, the bioformer play might be haunting him right now. Yeah. Um, if he he needs to draw that frontier fairy again now and prove me wrong that okay having that another time for the four healing but it's starting to really stack up we'll see what happens 
Second storage silo. Can he faction off the supply depot for the for the draw? Oh, yes. the aging oh, battleship. This might be the saving in grace. In time. So two, he pings off a draw from the supply depot, a draw for the aging battleship. Two ally ability and, draws there. And uh, there's the frontier fairy. <laughs> so he's getting four healing plus three healing, and he's going to be able to scrap and, out aging battleship. And, and he's getting that ally ability, which you wouldn't have gotten without that frontier fairy Correct. in play. So we'll, you know, we'll see. Maybe... Uh, is what this this is what I'm talking this is exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. He does this all the time. Now, okay, now here's the question. Is he gonna scrap this? Oh yes. yes. Oh yeah. 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 He's he's got to. Yeah. He's got to. Did he whiff or did he get something? That's the question. He's holding those cards close to the chest. Oh, oh it, it is, is it's a whiff. It is Scout Central. But get, does he not get rid of the Frontier Ferry? I have to imagine he gets rid of it now. So he's got two, four, and three healing. So he's got nine healing. He's up to 18 from nine. He's got plenty of damage to please, for the love of God, kill the Bioformer. But we'll see if he actually ends up doing that. So what is Takes he... the Frontier Station. So he's he's still trying to kind of block up. What's he doing with that uh... depot? I don't know. I think that, yeah, you're right. That's what he's... He's probably looking, thinking. I mean, I imagine you just do the damage. Yeah, I think yeah, at just, this stage it's got to be combat. You just, but, you just got to be going. But for he's it. he surprised me with his uh, his sort of long long <laughs> yes, game vision, right. uh, mm -hmm. you know, before. So right. And he seems Luke seems to be, uh, and this is something I've experienced when I've been playing him online as well. He is a more of a macro oriented player. He's going to be looking at the long game. He's looking at a card he's taking when it comes up four decks yeah. from now. Yeah, and um, he is, and he is using his authority as a resource. He's, mm -hmm. you know, he's his decks at full power until you take away his last point of authority, and he's using every single point of it. Right. So uh, the agent battleship scrapped out for two extra damage. Probably discarded for two extra, or for the four. So four, two. Five, eleven. He got rid of the bioformer. Yeah. Moonworm's a tough card though. Oh, oh he got out. We, oh, got, we got a got... heavy hit coming. Oh, the beacons. I think we're gonna see I think we're gonna see warning beacons. Interesting the the beacons are 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 uh he didn't they didn't get the love last time. Let's see if no. uh let's see if they do this time. He has the battle bot in hand, so, oh, so I he... imagine one way or another he can take at least one of them. He only's got yeah. three he's got three three economy here. Scraps one out uh, from his yeah. hand. Yeah. So straight purchase a beacon, I assume. Oh. So he's going to buy both beacons he's and get buy, the. Yeah. Um, he's going to use the star barge to buy both. And put those in. Is that enough? I think that might be enough. That's four, four, five, nine, eight. Oh yeah. Oh, he has to get through. He has to get through supply depot. Yeah. Does he just have enough? I don't know if I'm... I might not be adding that up right. He might... Oh, he's bar he barely doesn't have him, I think. Oh, two! It's so close! <laughs> okay, so now we're going to have to see... Uh, that score has to be wrong. There we go. Okay, yeah. After you remove that second thing. Okay, so it's a, it's a bum trade row. Not not what you're looking for right now. Nothing's going to be coming into hand or anything. Will the baseball be enough? He's trying to put it back up. <laughs> the draw from Nathan, I think, is going to have to be poor. If he gets Moonworm again, oh, oh. he can only get rid of A one single beacon, beacon down. That is never eight, what you want. Eight points of defense is, I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't to keep think him so. Alive. I don't think so. We'll see. There's enough damaged cards. I think Nathan has more cards he's purchased than his starters now, even if the scrapping has been pretty minimal. So uh, assuming the law of averages plays out here on yeah, this Yeah, but draw, if, if Nathan has a bad draw and then Luke draws a clump of bases, that could uh, you know, yeah. that could get him back in it. But this does True. not look like a bad draw. This looks like he's going to be hitting so with the pretty eight, hard. Yeah, with the eight and the three, it's going to be 11. He's got three and three, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think he has it. Let's see. Assuming these authority totals are accurate, yeah, it looks like. Oh yeah, yeah especially with that second swarmer coming out. I think that's going to do it. And he'll scrap out. Yep, he'll scrap out the celery for the three, and that's going to that be is game. game. He's going to take it. Wow, some interesting play from Luke. Yeah, interesting play from Luke. Uh, 
that's but that's what he that's what he loves to do. That's actually what he did in the in the match. He played against a Homer Junior in the SRP on Wednesday, and this is the exact same thing. He was taking bases early. Yeah, he was missing those extra um, the extra economy, and he made it work. And he was that's that's just his style. That's something sure. he likes to do. That's and we we saw work. it almost work here. Like right. there were uh, right. there were turns where it looks like he looked like he was going to be able to turn it around. Right. Um, but uh, um, 